Uh, Super Bowl Sunday, it is just days away. Charlotte restaurants are prepared. They're excited because it's big business and they're ready to go. WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Morris shares what they're having to do differently though this year to keep up with demand so they're not left asking, where's the money? Places like Benny Pinello's here in Noda and other restaurants around the Charlotte area are preparing for an influx of orders on Super Bowl Sunday. It means stocking up on supplies and food and making sure they have enough staff on the schedule. Straight from the oven and to your Super Bowl party. Nothing quite pairs with the big game like a slice of pizza. It's an easy hand food. I mean, you can't complain. Pizza's the best. <laughs> it's the die for it, really. Benny Pinello's is bracing for a big increase in orders on Super Bowl Sunday. According to American Pizza Community, it's one of the top five busiest days for pizza orders. From when we opened all the way until we closed, we're going to have pies, pies, pies constantly the entire day. It's the pizzeria is expecting to make 150 pies on Super Bowl Sunday and then turn right around on Monday to make its well-known heart-shaped pizzas for Valentine's Day. Since those two days are back to back, we're pretty much going to do the same thing, rinse and repeat from Super Bowl Sunday into Valentine. So we're going to keep it level-headed, keep our morale up, you know, because it's going to be difficult, but we're going to do it. Dilworth Neighborhood Grill is usually packed for the big game. I think every seat will be full. And uh, even as big as that, uh, it will be uh, to-go business, will be so large. And with supply chain shortages, the owner, Matt Wolfarth, feed a lot of people. has been stocking up on food weeks in advance, with 2,000 pounds of chicken wings ready to go to make sure there's enough to go around. It's a little harder to get the food these days, so we had to you know, start uh, earlier than, than usual and stock up. Had to buy extra coolers and freezers. Wolfarth says he has the staff to make sure the day goes smoothly. We're never fully staffed, um, but I'm pretty happy with where we are. Uh, we could always use a few more. And while he says January was a little rough for the restaurant between winter weather on playoff game days and the fear of COVID. It, it looks like good weather and, and it should go well. It should go really well. He's hoping the restaurant wins big this Super Bowl Sunday. And to ensure that you get the food that you need for your Super Bowl party, restaurants that we spoke to say make sure to put your order in in advance. In Noda, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte.